Good morning. I feel like the camera looks a little yellow. I don't know. Anyway, today is Friday. First, just uh, first off, I did not um vlog Wednesday and Thursday. Um, Wednesday and Thursday were some really hard days up in here. And what I mean by really hard days, I had a lot of behavior problems, a lot of, um, just a lot of issues, just a lot going on. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, I really don't know. I just don't know. And so I didn't even feel like picking up the camera to vlog. So I didn't. Um, and then my hair is not how i want it to be like okay i was opening the door for when my students come in because it's locked so i don't know I, my head was hurting i've been i had a headache for the past two days maybe and i was taking bc's um it just wasn't knocking it out like the bc usually knocks them out but it just wasn't and so then I, uh, my mom found some Excedrin that my brother had in his truck. And so I took the Excedrin and the Excedrin worked. So Excedrin is my go-to pain reliever now. Cause I don't, I just can't do pain. I don't do pain. Like I do not have high pain tolerance. So that's that. Um, what else? Today is Friday. So we are doing spelling test today. Um, I would like to do our reading test today, but I do those individually, and it just takes so much time to, um, it just takes so much time to do the reading test. So I might start them, or I might start the oral assessments. I have not figured it out, because I do have one set of oral assessments left before I need to, before I'm actually caught all the way up, and I'm back on my, uh, back on track with my oral assessments. So that's that. Um, I do have centers out to do centers, but I'm just not sure. Just ignore my whole table. Just ignore these. But I'm not sure I'm going to do centers. But I do have them out to do. Um, what else? I wanted to talk about reading in kindergarten. And if I have any kindergarten readers or any early educators or, you know, someone who is, you know, familiar with this age group, um, I've taught kindergarten three years. Um, all three years I have taught kindergarten, our goal was to have them reading by December, okay? So, me coming new into kindergarten, I didn't understand how um unrealistic they could be or how realistic it could be because I, I had some really just high students um that picked up information really well um once i presented the information to them they got it you know but then this year my students just aren't like they were last year like um i just don't have any breakout students like i I just don't like my hair y'all i just don't have any breakout students like i had last year like i had some students who um i i would say i had about we're gonna say seven students last year give or take a few i don't know that were just above and beyond that that were more than qualified to go to first grade then i had some who were average and who were good to go who wouldn't have a problem in first grade then i had some who were ready to go but because of the gap in first grade in kindergarten they might struggle so they needed some support then i had just a few who i my focus students who i really need to focus on who i really needed to um to to, to who i really needed to concentrate on this year Do I look like hot mess express today or what? But basically, I'm not sure exactly where I left off at. Let me go look at the clip because I know I was saying something um, in particular. Let me go look. Okay, so I was talking about my um, 
the different uh, amount of different needs of my students. Okay, so this year I have, um, I would say more than half who are just not there. And I don't know if it's developmentally. I don't know if I am doing, I, I don't think it's I'm, I'm doing anything different, like too different than I did last year. But it is just mind boggling because a lot of them still need um, support that they shouldn't need at this time of the year. A lot of them still are needing um, just coaching and just pushing. And it's not that they can't do, they are just seeming to have a hard time doing it. So, I think I'm a. Um, I'm gonna just keep working. Just keep me and my my sister and I. We talked about it earlier. We're just gonna keep working, keep pushing. I don't know. I hate to end my Friday like this, but I'm so tired, and my head is hurting again. I did take two more Excedrin, and this morning Excedrin work. Right now it's not working, man. Cause it could be because I'm thinking about is my headache gone? Is my headache gone? Is my headache gone? Instead of just kind of working and letting it leave on its own, but. I don't know if you can hear all of this is like congested. My nose, I mean my throat was hurting, so my um co-teacher, she gave me some cough drops. They actually they're good. They they're working. But um I don't know. I'm just going back to the drawing board. I'm just I'm 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 just gonna have to just go back to the drawing board. Because it's already January. And I just can't let the rest of the year just go by. I've just been, my hair's a mess today. Hot Mess Express. I am like on the struggle bus today. But I can't let the rest of the year go by without uh, really taking action. So, this right here, this right here is really me really having to start taking action. Anyway, I don't know if I'll be back later. Um, I am leaving early today just because I don't feel well. And what I mean by early is I'm leaving pretty much as soon as the kids leave. I'm going to just go. I'm going to go ahead and leave. I'm going to clean up a little bit. And then I am out. So, I'll see you all next week. Bye.